Hello, I'd like to open the Deerfield Planning Board uh, meeting on February 10th, 2020 at 5 p.m. here at the Deerfield Town Hall. Uh, the agenda tonight is straightforward. We'll review some mail. We'll take some public comment if anybody has it about things that are not on the agenda. And then we're going to look at our uh, proposed revised marijuana bylaws and hopefully vote to schedule a public hearing. Then we'll take up any old business if need be, any new business if need be, any other business not reason reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the posting of this meeting. We'll set a date for the next meeting and adjourn. Is that all we have? For tonight, uh, we have a quorum, so uh, so we can get going. Let's just identify ourselves. I'd like to do that. I'm Anne Mary Cloutier. Rachel Blaine. John Waite. Kip Kamosa. And uh, Roger Sadowski said he's going to be here in five minutes or so, so thanks for coming. And then, um, well, let me get to you first. Uh, uh, well, we can review the mail as we're going. Any public comment? No public comment. So. Um, Let's get into the meat of our thing, which is the proposed marijuana bylaws. Chris Curtis is here to help us with it. And um, so thank you for being here and take it away. So we've looked at this a couple different times. And I guess also let's, um, can, can we just, partly because I missed the last meeting, but just let's clarify where we're at with, um, this, is, this is a second proposed yes. by, marijuana bylaw for the, for the town. Yep. So could well, you I guess just give I, us an update maybe on last month's, last week's meeting? Or? Well, uh, the, the um, proponent is here this evening, um, this afternoon, but uh, we were um, presented, we opened a, a public hearing this past Monday to um, mm -hmm. review a bylaw proposed by Richard Evans of, as a representative of GoGrits. Um, and we reviewed the salient portion particularly about um co what is it co co-location co of manufacturing processing product and um grow and processing of product so that the benefits of that proposed by uh, that was a public meeting and it's been continued and it's been continued it's a, we opened that public hearing um and it is continued to seven o'clock on february 24th all right and so tonight, we're going to look at one that the planning board has been working on for several months and that we, uh, if, if we like what we see tonight, then we might propose to have another public hearing on this one. Good. John, just for clarification, since we opened a public hearing for proposed changes to marijuana bylaw, does it make it, do we have to actually host separate meetings for different proposals? Yes. Or I mean, isn't it all dealing with just changing or adjusting zoning bylaws for marijuana. I think but my understanding is that the one, the, 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 the one that you post the meeting for has to be substantially, people have to understand it substantially, and that then you vote to recommend it or not. Um, and since there's two different there ones, I, I think we said a month ago that we would do two separate public hearings, public hearings on it, which I know doesn't make sense, but. Um, well, ultimately, we're, we're looking at them simultaneously. simultaneously, and they have different elements, and so some kind of merging may happen, but right. they are really different right now. Okay. Uh, so I feel like... Oh, and we can I, do I, them right after each other. I mean, yeah, and I, I, do, I do get that they are substantially different, but I, I just thought since it's, it's a yeah. public term um, dealing with the bylaw change in the subject matter being the marijuana. Right. Uh, but, but if we could do them together, to, yeah. the, the same night, that would help. But, then the, but we the can't do them the same night because it, then this one, even if we open a public hearing, we can't, we can't open it for the 24th. And the next one, and the next one is scheduled for the 9th. So the next one's scheduled for the 24th. February 24th. Um, but even if we vote to open a public hearing to um, propose for, to this, for this proposed, it's less than, it's it's two, less than weeks, two weeks. Yeah. Right. So it would be our regularly scheduled meeting for March, which is Does that May make sense to you as well? 9th, because it is not May, March 2nd, just hear me out here, I already walked through this, because March 2nd is the day right. before voting day, and right. we, we, don't have, can't have the space. we don't have the space, and right. blah, blah, blah. So we would go to March 9th. March 9th. One question I have for Chris, when we get started, you, you've seen these other, this other proposal, and you've work with that and what you've been doing anyways, yeah. correct? Okay. Yeah, okay. You might want to <coughs> grab one of the mics. 
really yeah, can, can you speak in? The, actually, why don't you take that mic? So Kip's question was, you know, did I look at um, the other proposed marijuana bylaw when I was drafting the one for the planning board? And the answer is yes, I did. And I incorporated a number of provisions from that bylaw that I thought were really well drafted and included those here. Um, so to give you a quick overview of what we're talking about tonight, the bylaw, we've had several meetings on it now. and. Um, the changes that were made as a result of the first meeting with the planning board are shown in the bold italic font. And then there were some additional changes that we discussed at the second meeting. So we kind of went through all of those bold italic font ones already. Then we made some additional changes at, after the second meeting. And I want to kind of focus on those if I could for the first part of our discussion tonight. And, those changes are, are really only two. Um, one is really creating a map of the districts, which um, you see in the second handout that I, I gave you, mm. color map. Um, we talked about the districts um, at the second meeting, and then um, I've since you know tried to identify where those boundaries would be. So we have two districts, MO1 and MO2. And the difference between those is that MO1 would allow retailers and testing labs. MO2 would allow um, cultivators, product manufacturers, testing labs, micro businesses, research facilities, and transporters. So those are all shown in the table on the last page of your bylaw. So those are two different districts because the discussion with the planning board indicated that we should really handle retailers differently, mm. um, that those could be permitted in areas that were closer, for example, to residential um, areas of town because they don't have, for example, the, the odor problems that you might have with a cultivator. So if you look at the map um, and sort of compare that to the the last page of the bylaw, you'll see that MO1 is recommended to be an overlay district that covers the C2 district, but only the south and the central components of the C2 district. So you'll see those on your map. Um, and they're the green color. MO2, which is for the cultivators and the larger group of of uh, product manufacturers, et cetera, is recommended for the north portion of the C2, which is the railroad property, the PI district, and the industrial district. And those latter two are your existing marijuana overlay. So it mirrors those um, exactly. And those are in the red on the map. And that's MO2, right? That's MO2. Chris, for, for our discussion tonight, this is adequate, but at some point, can you, before we're going to propose this, can you get a, a oh. zoning map and have property <laughs> lines to exactly where it's going to go? Because <laughs> just a squeak, you know what I'm saying, because, yes. you know, our own zoning map is pretty poor. It's shaded, yeah. but the printing is off. So, you know, one could argue, well, if you look at our map, part of my land is industrial and, it, you know, it doesn't have property lines. And, we should know an address or some place where you absolutely it need that. Okay. And, and it is a little bit of, a, of, a, of an issue. We've been trying to solve this. Um, mm -hmm. We thought that Sue um, would, would be able to create that map for us, but it turns out she doesn't have that capability. And we thought that Karen in the assessor's office could create that map, and it turns out yeah. she doesn't have that capability. So I um, think, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but there's a gentleman that works at Cog. I think his name's Ryan. Ryan yes. And I think he could do that. Well, that's, that's, that's what, what I, we that's got to, and I think it. that's, yeah. so that, no one's requested that yet, right? No. So I can do that. That's on my list of things to do. And I okay. sent you guys an email that pretty much puts that all out there. You, you, you can just almost use the cox. text from the okay. yep. email. I would just say, don't, don't. Don't use your name. Yes, don't reference me. <laughs> 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 I request. I would. Having worked for questions about that later, but. Um, <laughs> the regional planning commission, I can tell you that. 
there's a technical assistance policy yeah. that they have where they will do that sort of thing for you at no charge. And, and Ryan absolutely would be a good choice because he's got GIS skills and he's very good. Right. I've, uh, well, the town pays them quite a bit of money, you know, for assistance. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. So yeah. I'm going to add, I'll ask Peggy Sloan and Ryan together. Yeah. I, I know that's, that's a, that's a good, just good idea. Get her involved. Since, you might yeah. mention that there's a little bit of a time yeah. issue because we'd want it by public hearing date um, or in advance of the public hearing date. Well, um, I, I, I think as long as we have it before, we're actually going to vote on it. We want the public to be able to see it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think at that at the at the public hearing type thing, you could get a good idea. You're not going to have people arguing my property is included or excluded, you know, that type of thing. Right. But if it's not addressed before it goes into being a rule or law, that that's where, you know, you could have people arguing. Yeah. Okay. So, so those are the districts. Any, any questions before I go to the next piece here? Uh, no, I, except for the... I guess it doesn't really matter. The MO1 uh, that you have in green, mm -hmm. that really encompasses all of uh, Yankee Candle, the Red Roof Inn, and half of Neighbors, because the other half's in Waitley. Um, since there's no more developable land, is it? I guess it doesn't matter. Well, it's like future. That. You know, yeah, this, is, you this goes know. into the future, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. There is the potential that sure. one of those buildings could be reused yep. um, going forward. And then there's residential in between, and then you get, uh, again, that's undeveloped land north of there, isn't it? The little green one up here? Yes. Yeah. I mean, if, if it's a retailer, Kip, the other thing, potentially, you could have a retailer sure. on one of those properties in, yep. in one of those buildings. Yes. Um, yep. So that's, the, the MO1 is where the retailers could be a fairly small storefront. storefront. Right. Whereas the other uses need a much More larger sparkling. footprint, presumably. And, the, and we're not looking at this at all in relation to what we already have approved? Um, well, again, your existing marijuana overlay district is encompassed here in the MO2 right. district. Um, what isn't included is the um, other approved Right. Property, which is. But I'm just saying not, that we already approved a retail here, so this <coughs> one's in 2,000 feet of it, so it, it really can't be. Well, I think aren't we changing but, that portion of it. We're going to do away with that 2,000 uh, foot, foot no. separation. Or is it just no. outside, outside of the town? Of, yeah, it's right. within the town, outside right. of the town, it okay. doesn't matter. Within right. the town of Deerfield. Within yeah. the town of Deerfield. Right. That's us. So that's, that's right. so, so that's the second thing I wanted that's to ask you to take a look at tonight, which is. is um, Section 4666A, location. I could have sworn I had page numbers on this thing the yeah. last time I looked you, at it. I don't either, but. Do you have one of these? Oh, do you want one of these? Either of you? Here. Do you have an extra I copy of this? Mine right. has page numbers one. on it. Oh, it does. Oh, good. Do you, Mine you has get page numbers. The email, too. I can email it to you too if you want. Let me make sure that it's the right one. Oh, Updated 130. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I know, this is, is old. Sorry. Sorry, Matt. Oh, we need one for Roger, too, when he comes. That's old. That's, that's, old. that's old. Here, I'll go, I'll go make another copy. So we need another one for okay. Roger, and then we more? need a copy of the map. A couple of copies. Do I put code? Is there a code? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know the code, Chris knows. Oh, you're going to have to go do that. Yeah. yeah. I'm not doing it then, Chris is doing it. I, I, what's the code? Here, write the code on. I don't, I don't know the code. Oh, I can do it. Thank you. Oh, okay. And one for Matt. Chris? One for Matt Pocken. I thought, I was sure I copied the right one. I'm checking the mail the here, too. So, um, so we are asked by the Zoning Board of Appeals to, to um, comment. To comment on the 127 North Main Street. So, that's the North, not North, North, Main, North, North Street. Street. Oh, it says North Main Street. You're right, yeah. but it's North Street, right? I don't think that's no, that's different. Oh, is this a different it's one? It's a special a permit for an apartment. <clears throat> apartment and Oh, my goodness. Special permit for an building. apartment in an existing building. Okay. Danny Tulega. <laughs> so, we know nothing about it. So, how do we. Uh, I know Danny Tulega. 
to use an accessory apartment at their home. Oh, it gets into that whole accessory apartment yeah, thing yeah, that we're yeah, going to yeah, get yeah. into as another home. That's thing. next. Um, next on the hip parade. So can we have any comment if we don't know anything about this? I don't, I don't. We're not against accessory apartments. <laughs> 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 they don't. They're not. They're not. That's a big ZBA t Are they discretion. Even right? yeah. No, because we, it says you can't have them, but eventually we want to change the bylaws to give someone that a little more flexibility to it. there. We've talked about that for years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is one coming down the pike? It's, it's, it's here. It's from the ZBA. It's, it, it, they're going to review it on, is that for Wednesday? I mean, uh, yeah, Thursday? actually, it's. Um, I saw it on their, yeah, I saw it on, on their, their agenda. agenda. Yeah. Well, all we say is that it's, it's not allowed. Oh, yeah, they can have an accessory apartment. With a special permit. With a special, special permit, permit, right. So we don't really have much comment, is that right. what I'm saying? But when we get those request forms and people say they don't have much comment, they well, I know, it makes you crazy. Yeah. But, I mean, we don't have any information, oh. so it's hard to... I know. Should I say we're not against accessory apartments? <laughs> but it's up to you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so I'll say that we're. Let us know how it comes. How it turns out, it could be good information, good data point. All right. All right. Ready for me to resume? Yes. yes. There we're going to find four six six yes. six a. No. I'm just waiting for a page number. It's on page. Well, it's actually easy. One, yeah, two, it's four, six, six, three, eight. four, five. Location. Title, um, additional requirements and conditions, and then location. Right here. Okay. Did you get a copy? Here. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. You can look at mine. That's all right. That's all right. I'll look on yeah, with Anne. Yeah, and then. Because uh, so I have looked at it. I don't know why I have. Yeah, uh, plus, I have it on my computer, which oh. I have right here. So don't worry. Well, here, no, I take, look at. Rachel, take this one. I, I have one that's numbered, so I'm good. <laughs> All right, so we talked a lot about buffering uh, between uses um, in previous okay. meetings. Oh, yeah. And again, main concern was protecting residential uses and schools and things like that from um, any impacts of these types of uses. So under location, numbers three, four, and five are the relevant pieces, and those are the ones that have been modified since the second meeting that we had. So this number three is the one that deals with the 2,000 foot requirement between uh, marijuana retailers within the town of Deerfield. And we added that language within <coughs> the town of Deerfield based on the discussion mm. last time. Mm -hmm. So if someone's in Waitley, they do, you know, that doesn't uh, affect what happens in Deerfield. As far as residential uses go, there, the provisions in number four and number five are the new additions that are the things that I would like you to kind of carefully consider. And um, this is something that Rachel and I talked up, about and, and tried to figure out how to best handle. So what we, what we did was we created two sets of buffers. One is for, in number four, for cultivators, product manufacturers, micro businesses, research facilities, and transporters. Those are the ones that might have the greatest odor impacts. And in those cases, um, it says that they, um, they can't be located on a parcel which abuts a residential use or a residential zoning district. So that's the more that's significant buffer. But that would wipe out all of this area here because it all abuts all of Route Motel 5, six. all the land that abuts it's an RA district. Um, so this is, so we're talking really about the M01 district here. Because that's. I should reference that in, in the, in the bylaw. That would make um, it clearer because so of the usages. So the cultivators, et cetera, are only allowed in the M01 district, the green one. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, but, and I, and I no. get that. So I'm sorry, the MO2. No, two. two. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. MO2. Um, so the red one, the red districts. Hmm. So, you know, you're right, Kip, that it would be nice to have a map with all of the property boundaries so that we can see specifically 
um, what the impacts are here. But for example, in the planned industrial district, um, I don't think that butts up against any residential districts. It's a little hard to see, but it's, I guess, only in that one corner. It, it, it butts up against right. a residential the district. The very easterly well, corner? Right, all around here. This is all RA here. Right. Pine Street. Right. And then at the other end. So, see, but that's what makes it tricky because if you don't use distances, you use boundary lines. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, in the industrial park on 116, you have a building that's located quite a ways away from yeah. residential. Mm -hmm. But because the property's but, you're saying you'd eliminate that. So could you do a setback a s instead? We could. That, that could be the other alternative. Yeah, because yeah. otherwise you're... Um, yeah. yeah. And then you'd have an opportunity there. Well, so maybe it, it makes sense to consider the language in, in number five which was intended for the retailers and the testing labs, which says you have to have a 500-foot um, buffer um, to, the, uh, to the nearest residential use measured in a straight line. Um, we could consider that, that buffer for both types of districts. Right. And I guess that would simplify things. Make it easier. Mm -hmm. Eliminate that issue of being concerned about, you know, the larger buffer to eliminating all all these. Um, well, so I do too. I don't know. I just keep thinking of these other scenarios. So that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. <laughs> that's if our job. If you have this particular one, where you say a 500 foot buffer. Once again, you, you take situations on Route 5. If you go from property line to property line, you're going to eliminate a whole bunch of things in between. You know, for example, you know, it's, I'm going to say probably shouldn't use names. If you go where the auto body shop is on Route 5, and they want to sell it, okay. Right. Now you go next door where you have. Villa Dues Auction, it's commercial, but there's residential there. So that would eliminate that. There's residential there? Yeah. That's where he lives. Oh. Okay. So, so now, if it's 500 feet, you go across the street to where they would it's, it's, it's residential, but it's not zone, it, what, it's zone. That, well, that's, you use the word residential use versus residential agricultural zone. Yeah, maybe that's what we want. Shouldn't we do be using zones? Because residential use is... Like, so well, he, but, you're right, saying so, it's, it's well, residential but, use in a commercial zone. That's but not, on the other hand, no. you know, where my building is, uh, the antique shop is, uh, you know, I have neighbors that live right there. So right. if you don't use his type of language, then you'd allow it to go in my building. Right, it, right, 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 within, right, right, right. You know, because, because it's a residential use in a commercial right, zone? Right, right. Well, it was pre-existing. Yeah. I know. That was there 100 know. years before any of the right. business. Right, 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 so right. we're also concerned about hotels and other places that people... Which are right. in commercial zones. Right. Yeah. Right. That's, I guess that's the reason for that. And, that, and that's what the, and it gets back to when I think of these property lines. When you use the language property line, you could have a long section of property, yeah. but right. yet the building, the business is located on one end, 700 feet away mm -hmm. might be... You know something else, but since we we're talking 500 feet from the property line, the two, the residential use and the commercial use could possibly be a thousand feet apart. Uh, but the property line is right there, so that would eliminate it. And that strip of commercial all the way down Route 5 and 10 is very narrow. There's not many that I know of that. So those 500 foot would kick you out. Yeah. yeah. Right. So could you do 500 feet from the building? We could. But there's yeah. only. But is that a town thing? There's only state? licensing for one. Well, it's nothing. We're just trying to create. Oh, because yeah. there are right. some. Well, well, I mean, I know what you're trying no, to do. No, not, not child care in schools. It's the state. Right. But right. we're saying okay. we're okay. doing another okay. thing. Right. Yeah. 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 That's a good question. No, no, it's not. You know, I mean, correct me, but let's just say that little bakery where Savages used to be. Say they wanted to sell there. We can't well, they own that property. It goes all the way down. Okay. Now there's a residence, so the property lines touch, so that would eliminate that 
place from being used, even though those mm -hmm. houses and that business is what, eight, nine hundred feet away, if not more. Well, but if you put it in a distance, 500 feet, wouldn't that? Or it's it's property wise. Well, so that's what we're wondering, so, yeah, so that's what we're wondering about changing from building to building versus yeah. property. Of course, our building yeah. comes and a building goes too. That's why property lines are set. I know, more. that's why property lines make more sense, just because you have more choice over building, mostly, usually. Um, but the property line is hidden from one to the other. I don't yeah, know. Because that came into play even on. Five and ten with All right. child care yep. under right. the property line. Right, 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 right. But the, the facilities were quite a ways away. Yeah, right. this fence and railroad. Yeah, railroad. Really, yeah, yeah, it wasn't right. an issue really. But it was. It's a good point, I guess, that you make. If if it's a really large piece of commercial property, you might be able to locate a marijuana facility in the center of that and have a significant buffer to the nearest residential area even if it directly abutted that property. But in so sense. I'm thinking about Channing B as an example, right. just to pick one out. Um, you know, they've got a large open space around that right. property. But that's yeah. in the MO2. In the MO1, that goes on Route, route 5. Right. Well, and we're, we're you'd eliminate, you know, we don't we're figure out a way. Entertaining the possibility of having just a single type of buffer here now that yeah. might both. apply to both. Types of uses. So a setback. I think the yeah the From setback or buffer. The, right. the proposal sort of on the table now is 500 foot buffer in either case measured from the nearest building to the nearest residential structure. Um, Correct so residential structure, including hotels, motels, etc. Mm -hmm. Holiday Inn. I'm sorry. No. Mm -hmm. So that would address the concern. But the building, yep. current buildings, like that's the tricky part of that too. Is that if then if somebody is going to build a, they they're going to build their building, they take down their house, they want to put it someplace else on their property. There, that's on them, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you've legislated it, you've regulated it relative to the existing building. They move their house. That's that's their, that's on them. Yeah, that would, that would be a choice that they would. They be, would make. Yep. Making, so then I'd be okay with that. Yeah. Um, I mean, but that's that's just. I, I think of another way. Okay. If you say it was going to be somewhere near my place in um, my business, and I personally didn't like it. Right. Our law, our bylaws allow me to put a residential unit. Residential. <laughs> to my commercial business. Uh -huh. So I could say I'm going to put a residential thing just to stop them from doing that. So I think mm. we need to think about... Um, mm. Well, in that case, isn't that kind of clever? Is it what? It's just a clever way to well, protect I mean, your property. <laughs> maybe it's just the way I think. But, yeah. but, I think of all these things. <laughs> whoever comes first, I almost oh, that's think right. whoever comes, Exactly. Yeah. I well, mean, if they're right, but, I, I, but the process of getting <laughs> these permits is very oh, lengthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I hear, I catch wind of it, I can go in there yeah, tomorrow and get pull a building right, 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 permit. Right, 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 right. Bingo. I was right, first. Right, so. right. Well, were you or weren't you? Well, like, <laughs> I, I think it would come down to when the applicant filed to get uh, per yeah. permission to grow or whatever. And if it was a day before you, I would say he would supersede. Yeah. That would be my answer, too. Yeah. I think that's right. I think they know who court is. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> well. So that's it. That would be a change. Yeah. And how does everybody feel about that one? So then all these that are in four get moved to five, is what we're Yeah. It just becomes a single provision, and it's a 500 foot distance measured mm -hmm. from the nearest <coughs> building to the nearest residential structure. Right, so that would be the other change. Nearest, the nearest point of the, oh, well, you'd figure that out. Because it says nearest point the of the property line. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so that opens up, that makes this real now. So otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's viable. Yeah. And, and it's a good point, too, about even your existing marijuana overlay district. I guess you've got residential uses that 
are pretty close to the boundary of that, right? Here it's not, there's one. Since Over here, there might be, in the back there, there is. Since we're, we're developing this uh, map, I think it would be a good idea, right here where you got this clog, I think it would be a good idea to follow the railroad tracks right here and not go into this industrial land along North Main Street. Well, the idea, and it's not shown very clearly on this hand sketch map, is to follow the precise zoning districts that you currently have. Mm -hmm. So it's not. So it would follow whatever the current boundary of the, you know, in your case, the C2 district is. Because um, is this, well, this, this is do clearly need a This is a industrial. Map. This is industrial. Where, where, right here. Right here. Uh, Hard is, was, right. is. And yeah. then there was, so, so, so we'll follow that industrial uh, yeah. mm -hmm. district. But boundaries. every one of those are what's a uh, residential area. Which is why we're Which trying is to address we're that. The, so, that's why a buffer makes more sense but, than abutting. Uh, that's what I'm saying. If, if we were doing this, I think if you just follow the railroad tracks right down and eliminate that whole thing, I don't know. Oh, you're, I don't, oh, you're, oh, you're, oh, you think the district is too large here? Right there, yeah, because I don't, I don't oh, know. Oh, okay. That's a different point. You know, I'm going to bring it up, and I apologize for being late, but I know we talked about putting all these into this commercial areas into marijuana, but do we want that much area to be available to raise or sell or whatever? I don't know if that discussion happened yet. Uh, and Tip sort of brings it up a little bit, just with it, like, well, I, the size. The reason this, I, I'm thinking about making the railroad tracks as the line is because the section of industrial that's along North Main Street is where Hard is. Now, there is there is some other land. There's only one Pelican. other parcel of land. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, Pelican. Uh, that, but, you know, that's industrial. It's like so, and the French is on North Main. Right, but now it's industrial. I don't think, you know, I could be wrong, but that, could, it, that wouldn't work anyways because it's too close to high school. Right, right. so it might. It might eliminate it just from that, but that's, that's that right. buffer disk um, issue as well. Um, and, and Roger, the other thing is that we don't envision, because of the 2,000 foot between marijuana establishments, you know, you can't have six of them along here. Right. I don't know how many you could have, but right. you know, they have to be spaced yeah, out so it would only allow a couple. Well, I think we estimated that the number, the total number for the town based oh, on is only is, is only two. 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 Which minimum. Minimum. It's into the whole issue you know, of whether like this is all in, relevant. You guys are talking about like residential and stuff, and I sort of looked at the area. And if you go past Mill Village, there's homes like where yep. you know yep. incorporated into that commercial district. And if you come this way south, there's really no home, so there, that wouldn't be an issue. Right. That's the only reason I, you know, pose yeah. that question. Mm -hmm. So is there any? change that you would make in what we're I'm just I'm just listening to everybody their okay. opinions and stuff. I didn't know if that was brought up at all or not. And you're right, you bring up a good point, you know, every two thousand feet there's gonna be mm. possibly one place. Right, but if there's only a total number of two allowed in the town. Oh yeah, that, because of the, yeah, yeah, that will be that, that right. yeah. So is it a minimum of two? I thought it was a minimum of two. I thought no, we were maximum. 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 Oh, no, Based on right. two. Okay. Sorry. Liquor license. Based on liquor yeah, license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yep. So, and then I mean, in all likelihood, I, I believe that we have one permanently set. Right. So it's so really what we're talking. All this that we're talking about only one. one, one, one That's one, one, somewhere in this general area. Yes. Well, obviously, that can change when the legislation feels like they want to change it. But nonetheless, well, that's, our, that's our, true. our bylaws will need to be changed again. Well, I guess well, could we, we supersede state well, regulations? The state doesn't really specify the total number. There's a recommendation, but oh, it's, okay. not, it's I not specified. It was like, that's, no, that's not a, a state requirement. No, it's just a recommendation. Okay. It's not, so I'm back to being right again. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, so I, it's, it's yeah. really a local decision <laughs> yep. about that. So I, I, I guess what about this, cutting off this little thing that sticks out past the railroad track, because... Is that a little slice of the pie? Right well, well, part of it also is the entrance today would be off of North Main, right. not off of 5 and 10. The, right. this, this kind of plan is like right. that it would be off of 5 and 10. Right. 
so that it makes sense to take into consideration the Just accessibility. That's a, that's a good point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's let's take that. It eliminates yeah. the yeah. southern end of that because it's too close to high school. Yeah. yeah. And then the rest of it is all there's all houses there except for Harding's. So we'll take that. Uh, so we'll go along the railroad track there. So the one thing I would say about that is that when you're bringing this to town meeting, if you're saying you're following all of the existing boundaries Except. for your current zoning districts, oh. you aren't you aren't making any exceptions. You, it's a it's a it's a clear right. you know, C2. rationale so that's C2. for how this was. And it's C two now. Is that what you? Or? No, that's industrial. And if and we have the 500 foot buffer that we've talked about, that parcel isn't going to be it's usable moot. anyway. It's moot. And then it's clear yeah. and, and moot. Yeah. I mean, it's clear. We're not making any exceptions. Well, We're not redrawing a um, line. But it's not going to happen because of the 500 foot setback. But, but the zoning is not Protects. clear. I and mean, that's, that's my point. Because if you go where Hardings is, where our zoning is, you head north from Hardings north. All those people that own houses, part of their backland is in an industrial area. Yeah. So it's dual, uh, dual those lots those on an average are about what, 125 feet wide and 350 feet deep. The front half where the houses are, are is zoned lots. residential. Right. The back part, which used to be farmland fields, is zoned industrial. Right. And that's what I'm saying. It, it's it's so, kind of goofy to have it. I mean, the only it's already is through hiring. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So and this is a problem we we addressed. We tried to address once before. Right. So that's what I'm saying. If you use you could use all the lines. That's why I'd like to see more. That is true. That, defined, those are just weird. But just use the railroad tracks as the easterly boundary. But is, and it wouldn't protect. I mean, it wouldn't. The 500 foot wouldn't protect. Say, if somebody wanted to put a marijuana retail shop on the back of their property, sold their property, so and put it on the back. How would that protect? How would that be a problem? Saying that the well, properties I, are only 350 feet deep, though. Right, and then right. The so other why things, would, they couldn't well, do that because you. So you then why don't we just include it? Well, we're going right back to you know you use some residential land for a commercial thing because you have to go through the residential land for the driveway. Right. Other. So, so that's why why don't we just include? I mean, I I appreciate that that it's already kind of a broken zoning thing because of those weird lots, yeah. but it just makes it clearer for the people. Than to draw a new line. Yeah, I think I think if you start drawing new lines, then people are going to say, "Well, why, why don't you draw, you draw a some new line here?" Well, it's cleaner and it's easier. Where the to lines are is really ambiguous, it's, but I don't. I haven't heard of anybody really arguing the fact anyway. So, right. Mm -hmm. I just I, I thought it was an opportunity to, to clean make it, it up a bit. Clean it up. Uh, well, I mean, you might want to do that. As a separate piece, yeah, right. which we you which we do. We have, uh, yeah. we have you know the district and the industrial we do want to boundary, this part and is then weird. adjust the Where overlay district at that same time. But do that as a separate vote, Street, separate yeah. article. Yeah. Yeah. I don't people. know if it's this time meeting or the next one. But I think that in itself is tricky too because John and I both spoke against C one residential to industrial, but they thought it was more valuable. After. But what happens is, you know, you got a, a lifelong resident who's there saying, look, I can't sell this, and people felt sorry. So I, we really feel they created a swap zone because they just changed that one area. Right. But it, it is what it is. Yeah. It's hard, hard to fix the mistakes. It's that hard to fix the mistakes. And I, I'm but not sure this is a mistake that we can fix, but, and, it, and it's not going to impact our intention with this. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah, that's, that's what I think. Thing. So I just soon leave it, give leave me, it and, and then address that at another time. And if we address that at another time, this will be, will, this will be, won't be a problem yeah. at that point either. Right. So mm -hmm. I think those are the main issues that are new from the, you know, the rest of the stuff we discussed it, yeah. you know, in some detail. But if you have any questions about any of the other uh, sections of the bylaw, we can certainly take those out. So you're, so MO2, we're saying no to retailer. And what about this place that we already said yes to? This, this triangle. What, what when you say we already said yes to it? What, isn't this where Atlantic Furniture is? I believe so. And so we already approved a retailer here. Right. You did. Yeah. Okay. Did we? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, but that's grandfathered then. That's Did I make okay. a mistake? No. no. Oh, we. So, um, 
I, I think making this whole thing MO1 is fine. Or MO1 and MO2 or something. Right. Yeah. It would, um, it would become. So you're, pro you're proposing that MO1 be extended to this. Right. It's yeah, I mean, why? Yeah. I mean, they're in there, grandfather, but right. we want to. That's a fine place. We all agreed it was a fine place for retail. So since it's already there, that can be dual zone. zone. It could be. Yeah. So that could be one o MO one and MO two. They're separately separate overlay districts, so they could they can overlap. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. yeah okay. So yeah. That, I have to check I don't that. That'll make the map a little different if you're making a request to FERCON. That. In other words, you want this to be MO. I know. Overlay district and the map that I sent you in the email doesn't show that. Yeah. So what I can do is send you another one. Mm. To, uh, you stop calling that the Deerfield Plastics. When when is Hardy going to turn into Pelican? It, it's still. It's, <laughs> it, I just can't think of the word sometimes when I. I was still talking about Pelican. <laughs> that's what we're talking about. Sorry, that's Hardick. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and Deerfield Plastics used to be. It took a long time to get that to. Yeah. And now it's going to yeah. have a different sign on it. So. Uh, I guess. Yeah. It took a long time for me to stop referring to it as Posley's. Posley. So yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, still, we we looked at that. We looked at a very cool project the other night, and it's where the the drive-in movie. I still use that. I know. I, that confuses out. Maybe you guys. How long ago was it a drive-in? Not that she long was, ago. It was about this high. It was there in 85. It was there in 85. It was back when they had station wagons. That's 40 years. <laughs> okay, so 30, 35 years ago. I don't know. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Blake chased me off at once. <laughs> I'll never... Okay. You out of the movie. Well, we were like Stop watching in. a movie from the side. Yeah, yeah. And Jake, Blake drove by in the cruiser and he was like... <laughs> I missed that. Yeah, I'm a troublemaker. <laughs> it's too bad. That we don't have a drive in there. Yeah, yeah no I kidding. Know. There's not many around. There you go. Yeah, that's no, for sure. Those are fun. All right, so, so that gets merged into that. It seems like and then good suggestions. Some other bold things we should look at? Or, uh, well, we, we did look at we them all, but you're anything. welcome to bring them up again if there's any questions about any of them. And this, this 500 foot. Pre-existing public-private school or licensed state because that came up. So we but put in licensed, right? Right. Versus yeah. someone who happens to have six kids, that doesn't. Right. 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 And what we didn't put in there was churches, um, which do have classes sometimes. What is this? I mean, that should be the state law, right? The state that is the state. State. Nobody goes to church anymore. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think, think so. God's they, okay with that. <laughs> right. The state doesn't address churches and social things like that. It's places where children congregate. No, the black language is not yeah. Schools are. Yeah, schools. Are. Yeah, schools. I think and if you could get, then you get into Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts. You know, nah, no, no. And that's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just, you know, yeah. Some religions like Maryland. I think that's what we decided the last time. <laughs> And the S M just on this site uh, on the table mm -hmm. uh, special permit site plan approval. Special permit with site plan approval. Right, which we which we don't have in our normal because site plan has site plan and uh, I mean, this is kind of just a reminder to the applicant. It already has site plan approval based on 600 feet or change of use. They're all going to be a change of use, so they already have it. So this is kind of just a reminder. Because, reminder and a requirement. Right, but it's a requirement of a lot of things that, and, and so we don't put it here all the time. Oh, you don't put it in here? No, place. we normally don't. That's why it kind of sticks out, and people are going to be like, you know, why is it here, but it's not here. But most of these also require it. You know. They have an asterisk by them? Is that what it does? No, because I mean, site, plan, site plan approval is based on square footage or change of use. Right. And those, those are the main things. 
Well, basically, all these things is a change of use because nothing's been right. You know, marijuana before. I don't bring my. Car. So you could almost, it could almost just be a note down here that all. Yeah. You know, you could just put In a bold. thing, just a bowl down here, and all, then it would match. All marijuana okay. establishments require site plan approval, also. This, that way it blends in with yeah. the rest of the table. Yeah, I mean, so now we have it as, I mean, right now we get marijuana retailer, for example. This is no everywhere and then has 10, and so it refers you to. Uh, no. A node um, that the, the marijuana overlay district, and then the marijuana overlay district re tells you that you need special permit. I, I mean, it just has a note at the end of the table. So, um, not an asterisk, but a, not an asterisk, but a, a, foot, a, footnote. a footnote. Yeah, okay. this this ten. You know, every every each type of marijuana establishment has a no, and then what's special? Okay. Grammar pencils. And we're, and we're getting, yeah. That. The other thing was we're getting rid of all treatment centers and all medical. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that's a really good point, John. What we don't show here is what's being deleted. Out what's being deleted here. needs to be. We should uh, show that. Yeah. Yep. Which is the whole section, actually. Um, right? We have a whole section on uh, medical. Yeah. yeah. That needs to happen. 4650 is coming out. Yeah, we need to show that. Right. That's the point. And then 4660 is being revised. Yeah, can you give me those numbers real quick? 4650. Is medical marijuana treatment centers yeah. that was added in 2013. Forty-six sixty, which I think are the numbers you use here, yeah. right? <coughs> okay, is being revised. Yeah. Right. We're, right, we're going to totally replace this. Yeah. This is what we were working off of before with the definitions. We've changed those definitions, so that yeah. starts with the definitions in forty-six sixty. And we we talked about putting definitions someplace where everything. But it has to go right next to this. Yes, it does. People and I think ultimately we need to look at the whole book and yep. you know figure out like make some kind of user friendly like where the definitions are. If the definitions are in the different places, fine. But then have some kind of have key a index to, to go yeah. back to find them. Yeah. We haven't done that for a long time. It's always a good idea to go at some points to go through your whole zoning mm -hmm. bylaw and sort of redo it mm -hmm. and get it all straightened out because all of the amendments are going to be kind of scattered about. Mm -hmm. um, we did that when I first joined the board. Pat was doing that. How long ago was that? Not very long ago. Uh, eight years. <laughs> oh. More, lo uh, closer oh. than That's the uh, drive in movie. Yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some communities go. 20, 30 years, and then they have No, it was a bit more recent than that. You mean it's popcorn? Yeah, it smells good. Mm. I'm going to go to the movies again now. <laughs> oh, the movie theme tonight. I haven't even seen Parasite. How about that? That's my mm. next thing. Well, these are really good points and yep. good suggestions, yep. so I'm glad we took the time to go through it. Mm -hmm. Can we um, move to open a public hearing? Are you moving um, to open a public oh, hearing? I'm looking at the chair. <laughs> I, I, I like it when you someone. Moves I move this. that we um, open a public Second. hearing. With the. Um, with the amendments. On with, this. With this updated version. Updated 130 with, with the amendments. With the amendments tonight. that we made tonight. Yeah. And um, if Chris would send us along, that would be great. So we could all look at 660, six, 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 just to review. 466, 4666, location, because that's, that's the chief change that we're making from this um, version, this edition. And uh, public hearing, when are you recommending that? 
Well, I'm recommending that we open a public hearing on the 9th of March. Is everybody here that the first Monday is um, the night before election, so we can't use this room? First Monday of March, our normal it's, meeting time? It's, it's the night before election. election. Oh, the election. So this, they can't, they don't let us in this room. I we know could one, open I know it one time we else. used them. Um, the senior but center. for public hearing on marijuana, we need to have a space people yeah. can come That's to. Right. So I, I think, think the ninth makes so. The sense second right. Monday, and we'll send that for you, Roger, but um, we can't do the first Monday. So. No, um, that's not an issue anymore. Oh, okay. I can't. I won't be here. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm getting a new hip. Ooh. Oh. Just saying that out loud. Yeah. Please, good Making luck. me very nervous. Okay. Yeah. Don't be. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody that said new hips. It will come and <laughs> console yeah. you. Oh, like, <laughs> so, but next time you see me, well, no, you, you'll see me before then, but yeah, I'll be roller skating. <laughs> yeah, and you're roller skating. That works for you, I mean? It does. I will be here in spirit. I'll watch the tape. <laughs> At 7 a.m., 7 p.m. 7 p.m. But our next meeting is February 24th. Of course. And I will be here. All of me will be here for that. The new part will not have come in yet. And that's when the floodplain yes. comes up. Yes. So I need to be there for that one. Yes. And that's at 7. Okay. And we need to make sure we get all these things on the town meeting warrant in time. That's part of the zippity doo -dah. That's why. That's why this meeting. And I, my apologies for the posting issues. The deadline for closing of the warrant? March 27th or something like that. 26th. Okay. Uh, although the select board does have the authority to open it at any time, they want to. Well, there you go. I can send them chocolates. They're done. All kinds We're of out. Yeah. There you go. So there's been a motion uh, for the public hearing March 9th. What time? 7. Seven. And the 24th is 7. Uh, Seven. So we have a second. You said, did you? I second. Yeah, Mary second. And Mary second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Five zero zero. Who's taking minutes tonight? Nobody. Sue's been the doing it. She's the, she's doing it. Sue, you're wonderful. Here. We love you. Off the off tape. the tapes. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll let you do it today. Yep. I'm, I'm she's around great. To, uh, I can double check it. That's so much better. Uh, no, it's easier to follow. It's a little like watching the tape over again. Right. But. I do that anyway. Well, I mean, I when I'm unclear. It was, long it was three hours. Oh, the other night? Yeah. I oh, know. So she's going to watch three hours. On three hours. <laughs> oh. So just if I can ask this question. So on February 24th, I think we'll get questions from people saying, what's the difference? So uh, of the one that we're going to review on March 24th and the one that we're going to, I mean, February 24th and the one we're going to review on March 9th. Could you, is that, is, 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 would that not take you too long to put a couple things together maybe? A couple bullets? If you would like me to spend my time on that, I can Well, I'm just wondering, is that, a, is that a big ask or is it a... I'd have to see what it, I'm not sure without looking at the other bylaw again. Yeah, um, I mean, I... I don't think it's a huge ask. I mean, I can... Just I, I don't really have so many hours, and you wanted me to do some other bylaws. Yeah, yeah I know that's so. Okay. I mean, it's it's okay not to. I just I just know that I asked that, and I, I certainly have an answer. But um, I don't have I don't have I'll try to do what I can. To yeah, just take a modest amount of time. Modest amount of time. Yeah, and if you could just say like this one section is in this one, and it's not in that one, or something, that would be mm -hmm. helpful. Yeah, this might um, the other one. So I and and I. If I can speak to the, the public at the same time, I, I mean, that's going to be a question to you, too, I'm sure, and you want to be able to, to answer that as well. Um, and I think there is, I mean, the substantial difference is the, the districts. Co the, the districts. And co really it. And, the, and, the, and where, where you can manufacture. I yeah. mean, that's, that's uh, so the co-location. Yeah. And, and cultivate. Um, right. Right. Yeah, getting rid of all the RAs. Yeah. And I think that's. You know, again, I go back to three or four years ago when we were discussing is everybody said, oh, you've got to give the farmers a chance. And now uh, things have changed. And so that's why we came back to. It's not a farming thing. It never was. Yeah. Okay. So. Good to know. So that's why. Right. I mean, okay. Everything that. Not only. I've happened to 
deliberately look at other for planning board meetings around the state that I could find online, and that we're not the only community that's dealt with this, mm -hmm. and that I've never seen anything where it was really farming. It was all like, you know, somebody had a, a greenhouse and they're growing, or they have an industrial building and they're growing indoors, and, yeah. you know, it's... Which um, is the case right. of these two, is using right. greenhouses and using an right. existing right. industrial... And, and, and so I like that that first item here says, use an existing building when possible. Yeah. So that's like, that should be about everything, almost. <laughs> But it, it's not, it's not the conventional, cases. you know, yeah. a farmer's going to go out and start growing marijuana. And right. Plowing right. Up. And, but um, the guy that came before us, the last thing, Wolf, well, the other night, he was talking about building a structure. Yes. And I guess my, my other one... Well, he falls into the zone now. Right. Yes. One quick thing is this, uh, but the marijuana micro business, and I know in some place I think it was called Kraft, that was, I think, at that state level, at least a couple of years ago, intended to kind of be a small farmer, right? Was it? Or am I wrong? Right, like or, or like a craft brew or something. Like collectives. And so I guess my question there is, should we have allowed that at more places? But, but, but if you think about it, John, the amount of money to get into this I, I know. In, not in be reality, I'm farmer. just saying, in, in theory, it was supposed to help the smaller... Yeah, I know. But, but you still need like $20 million. Dollars. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. and you're right. Even if I decided to grow it, you know, the, the amount of time and money you have to spend to go through all the permitting thing yeah. for me to grow a half acre. I know in reality, I'm just saying, they, yeah. they, they came up with this. Am I, is that right from your understanding? They came up to this to try to help the little guys to say that this is a special category? Then you would build these they, they come, about the the I'm talking about the, no, can't, this the state cannabis, cannabis commission. commission. CCC. Okay. Uh, Did they have a mind in benefiting farmers? Is that your question? Well, yes. or small, small, small business. Especially with the micro business and craft right. co-ops. Yeah. Craft yeah. co-ops. Yeah. Craft co-ops. That was a big discussion yeah. at that meeting that we had that yeah. I sent my surrogate to. Yeah. There was a lot of talk about it, but none of it has come up since. But none of it. So I guess that's the only question. Should we have, should we allow that in more places? I don't think it's, do you see many of them around the state? Uh, you mean micro businesses? Micro business. Uh, micro no, marijuana. collectives. I, I have a client who's doing one. And it's in front of the guy. Oh. I've seen this one. Yeah. And uh, as for the crash co-ops, I've heard of you. But I, I'm not representing you. Yeah. Then they don't count in my book. <laughs> they don't count? You're not representing them. I don't know about them. Oh. <laughs> well, there's that place down in Amherst, that Heirloom Collective, but I don't know if that's yeah. actually a collective. <laughs> it just spells out THC. So. I know. <laughs> All right. I mean, they can go in any of these places. Yeah, the so, I mean, we're not. Is the bigger set of districts like, where they are allowed? The where? <laughs> the MO2 is where that's they right. are Yeah. Are Sign allowed, language which is just the larger land area. Yeah. Yeah. So, they, yeah, they can still show me on I kind of love them. My daughter thinks that right. pharmacy is in violation. Yeah. Pharmacy F. All right. Um, thank you, Chris. Yeah. Um, any other medical. comments from? I move that we adjourn this meeting. I second that move. Oh yes. Uh, um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. And the next meeting we already said is on February 24th.